Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, it's going to be a hot weekend for the Cincinnati Music Festival as we take a live look here at Paul Brown Stadium. I tell you what, if you have plans on coming downtown at all this weekend, dress cool and make sure you stay well hydrated because temperatures are going to be in the 90s this weekend and at its hottest, it will feel like it's close to about 103 to 105 out there. The other thing you might have to contend with the threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll talk about both of those coming up here in just a moment. First things first, though, the heat out there this afternoon, 92 in Westchester, 90 in Sharonville. It's 90 over there at Hebron and Burlington. Also looking at 91 down there around Taylor Mill. Here's a look at your evening forecast. Most of your evening looks dry around here. Hot sunshine with temperatures flirting with 90 degrees for most of us. However, there will be the threat for some storms later, especially after eight or nine o'clock clock. Look at this. We have a heat advisory that's in effect through Saturday for the entire WLWT viewing area. And in this pink or purple shading here, we have what we call an excessive heat warning. That's for Hamilton County and the city of Cincinnati, more so for the urban areas, because, you know, if you're in the suburbs at night, sometimes you'll get a little relief. It may cool off a little bit more, but because of the asphalt and all the concrete in many of our cities, it tends to absorb that heat. So it tends to stay hotter even at night. And that's the reason why we have that excessive heat warning. In effect right now it's uncomfortably warm, but it's not dangerous heat. It just feels like it's 94. However, look out west. Bloomington, Springfield, down towards St. Louis, Missouri, heat in the seas up around 110, 111. That's where the extreme heat will be just off to our west. Now, because we'll be on the periphery or the edge of the more intense heat, we will also be vulnerable to clusters of showers and thunderstorms. And I'm tracking one tonight that's dropping down from Fort Wayne, heading into West Central Ohio this evening. That's why I have the threat for storms in here after 8 or 9 o'clock. Right now at the airport, coming up just shy of 90. It's 89 degrees. We've got a west wind at 5. That dew point has made it back up to the oppressive level, close to 70 right now. Just about area-wide, everyone near 90 degrees. It's 92 in Batavia, 90 in Hamilton, 91 down there in Owenton and Sparta at this hour. As I mentioned, we're on the fringe of the more intense heat. The real hot stuff is from Chicago to St. Louis. This is where the heat will be absolutely dangerous through the majority of the weekend. And you'll see here how we're on the periphery of that more intense heat. That's why we'll be susceptible to clusters of showers and storms. Those at times will offer some cooling relief from the heat and humidity. Through the next couple of hours, though, it's dry. But again, after sunset, there may be the chance for a few storms. 72 for a low tonight, partly cloudy and muggy with the threat for a few rumbles of thunder after eight or nine o'clock. And then tomorrow, steamy sunshine, scattered storms. Look for a high in the low 90s. It will be significantly more humid tomorrow. You will certainly notice it if you didn't feel it today. Here's a look at your day planner. Muggy start in the morning at 72 by lunchtime, close to 90 and will sneak into the low 90s with storms firing during the afternoon and evening hours. Here's a look at your seven day forecast at the hot over the weekend. Heat and disease again could approach anywhere from about 103 to 105. Our temperatures right now look like they'll top out in the low 90s, somewhere around about 92, 93 for highs. Again, be on the lookout for those pop up showers and storms too, because of the heat and humidity. You know, Sheree, they could oftentimes be a little intense, locally speaking, right. due to the heat and humidity. Absolutely, and so many people out there do not have air conditioning or even fans.